Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Are you concerned about or need to reduce the amount of sugar in your diet? In this video, I'll share what is sugar, added versus natural sugar, the link between dietary sugar and blood sugar, diabetes, and weight gain, and recommended limits for added sugar. First, what is sugar? Sugar is a carbohydrate. From birth, most people like sugar. Liking sugar is programmed into your DNA. What's not programmed into your DNA is how to limit excess sugar. Sugar comes in two forms, monosaccharide and disaccharide. Mono means one. A monosaccharide is a single sugar, like the blood sugar glucose and fruit sugar fructose. Di means two. A disaccharide has two sugar molecules. Sucrose is 50% glucose and 50% fructose. Sucrose's sweetness comes from fructose. While glucose is a sugar, it's not sweet. A third type of sugar is polysaccharide. Poly means many. Its more common name is starch. Starches are a chain of 10 or more glucose molecules and are easily digested. Since starch is 100% glucose, it also is not sweet. For thousands of years, the only sweet foods were ripe fruit with the natural sugar fructose. Until a few hundred years ago, foods made with added sugar was reserved for the wealthy. Added sugar is any sugar added to foods. Many prepared foods have added sugar, including foods not considered sweet. One would expect the brownie has added sugar. The meatloaf in this meal is made with dextrose and maltodextrin. Added sugar is not limited to refined white sugar. There are dozens of sugars added to prepared foods. Beverages are a major source of added sugars. The problem is not the one or two teaspoons you add to beverages. It's the huge amounts of sugar added to many prepared beverages. In this example, 23 grams, 6 teaspoons, in a 14-ounce serving. Your body's cells use sugar for fuel. Your body tries to maintain about 4 grams of total blood glucose 24 hours a day. When total blood glucose levels are consistently higher than 4 grams, you're at risk for type 2 diabetes. Diabetes is consistently high blood glucose. Several viewers have commented that diabetics cannot eat sweet fruit due to high levels of natural sugar. Like most internet comments, they're anonymous and provide no proof. For most people with type 1 and type 2 diabetes, the problem is not natural sugar in fruit. It's a diet of high-calorie, high-added sugar foods. The first ingredient in this cake is sugar. If fruit, even sweet fruit, came with a list of ingredients, the first ingredient would be water. Fresh fruit is 80 to 90 percent water. Diets high in added sugars can lead to weight gain and type 2 diabetes. According to the 2020 Dietary Guidelines for Americans, about 90% of adults with diabetes are overweight. A leading contributor to weight gain and diabetes is added sugar in foods and beverages. Until the 20th century, type 2 diabetes was a disease of the affluent. Today, there are hundreds of affordable, high-calorie, high-sugar and starch foods. Diabetes is chronic high blood sugar levels. Foods high in sugar and starch flood the body with sugar. While diabetics must limit starchy foods, sugar-sweetened beverages are worse. 
The sugars in beverages are easily broken down and absorbed into the bloodstream. According to the CDC, the number of diagnosed cases of diabetes has risen from less than 1% in 1960 to around 9% in 2018. The increase in diabetes is not due to fruit calories. From 1970 to 2016, the number of fruit calories increased from 70 to 85. Americans are not gaining weight and developing diabetes from eating fruit. The root cause, in most cases, is diets high in calories and refined carbs. Until the mid-20th century, type 2 diabetes was associated with wealth. The wealthy could afford high-calorie, high-sugar processed foods. Many were eating more calories while living sedentary lifestyles. Today, thanks to low-cost, high-carbohydrate processed foods, obesity and type 2 diabetes is affecting lower-income people. Foods high in easily digested, refined carbohydrates have replaced whole grains, fruits, and vegetables. A 7-ounce apple has 95 calories and 25 grams of total carbohydrates, compared to the apple pie that has 440 calories and 58 grams of total carbohydrates. And yet, some low-carb diets claim diabetics must limit or eliminate fruit high in natural sugar. High-potassium bananas are at the top of the list of high-sugar fruit. A 4-ounce ripe banana has about 14 grams of natural sugar. A 100-calorie banana has about 26 grams of total carbohydrates, including 3 grams of fiber. At only 5% of total calories for a 2,000-calorie diet, it provides 10% of the daily requirement of potassium and 11% of vitamin C. Like the apple, a 100-calorie banana can be transformed into a 700-calorie dessert with 400 calories of added sugar. Diets high in refined carbs, like sugar and flour, can provide more sugar than the body needs. The excess sugar is either stored as body fat or increases blood sugar. Added and natural sugars both have 4 calories per gram. Unlike fruit, sugar provides carb calories only and has zero fat, protein, vitamins, and minerals. Sugar is classified as empty calories and linked to a variety of serious chronic diseases. Some sugars, like honey and maple syrup, provide trace amounts of vitamins and minerals, but the amounts are too small to offset the health risks of too much added sugars. You can live on a diet of zero added sugar. The American diet provides about 130 grams of added sugar a day that comes to 520 added sugar calories a day. 520 calories is over 25% of total calories for a 2,000 calorie diet. As total calories increase, 500 sugar calories can still provide over 10% of total calories. Most people eating enough calories to maintain a normal weight don't get 20 to 25 percent of their daily calories from added sugars. Their diets provide natural sugars from a variety of fruits and vegetables. If your diet is high in added sugars, you can cut calories and lose weight by reducing added sugar. Eliminating a 40 ounce sugar sweetened soft drink saves 500 calories. That's a 12 percent reduction for a 4,000 calorie diet. It also eliminates 125 grams of added sugar. Passing on this and other bottled beverages cuts 35 grams of added sugar. 35 grams is like adding 9 teaspoons of sugar 
to 12 ounces of coffee. It turns a 3 calorie beverage into a 143 calorie beverage. So is there a safe amount of added sugar? While there are recommendations for added sugar, there is no one-size-fits-all daily limit. Active people maintaining a normal weight and have no chronic diseases can usually consume more added sugar than an overweight person who is pre-diabetic or has type 2 diabetes. People eating a balanced diet can live a long, healthy life without any added sugar. Plant foods can provide all the glucose your body needs. Some fad diets claim everyone should eliminate all sources of sugar, added and natural. The American Heart Association recommends limiting added sugar to 100 calories for women and 150 calories for men. But these are recommendations only. Some people believe they are firm requirements. The nutrition label for this beverage lists 23 grams of added sugar, providing 46% of the daily value. That means the daily value for men and women is 50 grams. The 2020 dietary guidelines recommend limiting added sugars to less than 10% of total calories. At less than 10% of total calories, it's still more added sugar than the FDA nutrition label and the American Heart Association recommend. Recommendations are guidelines. Only you can decide how much added sugar is right for you. Is your weight normal or are you overweight or obese? Is your blood sugar normal or high? Do you have diabetes? Is your blood pressure normal or high? Do you have chronic inflammation? Do you have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease? If you're overweight and have one or more chronic conditions, especially diabetes, you should limit the number of highly processed carbohydrates, including sugar. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.